Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Katie and I make stuff vegan. Okay, so boom. So like earlier this week, what day is today? Okay, so over the weekend, <laughs> over the weekend, I was thinking about like Cheesecake Factory brown bread. You know the brown bread, like it's super duper good, right? I was thinking about that and I was like, dang, I used to get the Buffalo Blast, like the Buffalo Chicken, Buffalo Blast, you know what I'm talking about, whatever. And I was like, dang, like I used to get those and those used to be so good, but me and dairy, a lot going on. And I was like, I can make that vegan because you know I can make <laughs> anything vegan as you can see. So if you want to see how I achieve the Cheesecake Factory Buffalo Blast, keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss any of my videos. Also, don't forget to the link to the detailed recipe will be in the description box below. Okay, let's get going. Let's get cracking that kid. Okay, so for this recipe, I decided to try a product that was new to me. So the algorithm knows I'm vegan, right? Like the algorithm knows everything about you. It's weird, but we go with it, right? So this came up on my like explorer page and I was like, this low key look legit. Like I want to try it. And you know, it looks funny. I mean like, you know, I've worked with things in the past that also look funny. Like the, the little beef that I use for my tortas or you know what I'm saying? Like I've used stuff like this before. But I was like, this look interesting. So I ordered it and this is my first time using it. So I followed the package instructions. So the package tells you to use like a little bit of oil and then use water and then you can come, you combine it into whatever shape you want. So I went out on the limb. I'm like, I'm going to try sauteing it and see what happens. And it worked. When I like added the water to it, I was like, this is legit. Like I was like, okay, I'm following, I'm following. Like where is this going? And like, you know, it's vegan. So like I took a little taste of it and I was like, oh, y'all done did something. You done turn water into wine or sawdust into chicken. Cause that's what it looked like. <laughs> but like, it was really good. Like I'm gonna link it down below so you can try it for yourself. I ordered it from somewhere. A lot of people been telling me like, oh, I wish I had that near me. I wish I had that by me. Girl, make you some chicken something you know and i think they have like other things on the website i think that they, they just rolled out like a a pork thing so i don't know i'll link it you could try it too you know what i'm saying like i thought it was neat so i wanted to share and also like i wanted to switch it up you know i like to switch up stuff because we don't want monotony okay so I, let me try a new product and i'm so happy i like stumbled upon it so i hope y'all try it let me know what y'all think about it you know okay so i basically seasoned that up i added quite a bit of salt you probably like you good girl i added quite a bit of salt because it said that it was like saltless on the box so i did that i seasoned it up i sauteed it up with a little bit of nonstick spray you know i love my nonstick spray from aldi and then i just let it get crispy you know but not too crispy when we don't want cracker we want you know what i sound like you know what i'm saying okay whatever okay so now i'm gonna make my dredge because the Buffalo Blast from Cheesecake Factory are like fried. So, if you do not want to fry it, I understand. You know, it's a new year. We trying to be, you know, we trying to get our lives on track. Go ahead, follow along with me. I'm gonna tell you what to do, okay? I got you, I got you, okay? But I'm seasoning up the flour. This is literally flour. Please season it well, okay? You saw all the stuff that I used, especially I added cornstarch because I want it to be little I want to be crunchy, crunchy. You know, I want to be, I want to be good and crunchy. I want it to be, you know, I want to be good and crunchy. Okay. And I, I had a little bit of just egg. So I, I feel, I felt like using that instead of like my normal methods. If you cannot find just egg or you don't want to use just egg, I think plant milk will work just fine. Okay. So in the bowl, I put my chicken and some uh, scallion, green onion, whatever you call it. And I promise that's regular cream cheese. Like, my girl had been sitting out for like an hour because I was like, I'm gonna wash some dishes and then I'll just be able to use it. And then I got sidetracked and then then I had cream soup. But you know, it's cream cheese, okay? I'm not trying to do Trader Joe's dirty like that. And they get way too much free promo anyway, okay? Um, I put cream cheese, buffalo sauce. Yo, the Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo sauce is like my favorite buffalo sauce. So much so that I went to a store, I went to Kroger, couldn't find Sweet Baby Ray's, settled, for um, the Kroger brand one, which, whichever one was vegan, I was in there reading the labels. And then I found two baby rays at somewhere else, I think Target, and I was like, yep, I'm buying this again. So now I got two buffalo sauces, like it is so good. And I put one of my favorite vegan mozzarellas, Vile Life, 
highly recommend okay and then i put some other seasonings taste as you go along it's one of the luxuries of being vegan taste as you go along so you don't do all this work and it tastes like air okay i put that aside okay so i found these wonton wrappers i've noticed what is the brand nasoya i don't know it's on a, it's on a video you saw it i've noticed that they started making these wonton wrappers vegan so like that is like that is like a great thing because i'll be using these little things like in my crab rangoon video okay so i put a little bit of the little filling in there i took some water and i put it around the the uh, come on perimeter come on math put it on the perimeter and i'm just um squeezing it close now what i will say and we'll always say you don't want to be what embarrassed do not get to scooping four tablespoons around it okay do not get to doing that because it's gonna explode and then you'll have a big old mess and your oil gonna be all over the place and this is gonna be a mess okay so don't do that just literally even when i've been to some of them i was like okay katie you were being a little bit too because i feel like i've made something recently i don't remember what it was and it opened on me and i was like not in front of all these people <laughs> so i would just recommend being patient okay now I'm gonna dip it into the just egg. It was a, it was a little thick. I mean, I, I would use just egg again, and I, um, I was worried about it because I enjoyed the just egg. Um, strangely, because I did not like eggs like that before I went vegan, and I was like, but the just, just egg it has a taste to it, not a bad one, but they let you know that they're there, and I was worried about it, but like I didn't taste it at all. So I would recommend using the just egg. Okay, I can't vouch for any other vegan egg. Okay, so I dipped in the just egg let it drain off and then put it in the in the flour okay and I, I just i just did that you know you can use one hand for that one hand for that you know what i'm saying very easy see there we go just like that okay into a pan you can use whatever you want i just wanted to like get more of them done faster i put in some canola oil okay so you don't want to fry why don't you take the the floured the floured triangles <laughs> and put them back into the just egg and then put them in a the panko. That's what I would recommend. I think that's like the easiest thing to do and you don't have to, you don't have to fry anything. Easy, done. You can bake them. Spray them with a little bit of um, non-stick spray, put them in the air fryer or put them in the oven. You know, if you don't, if you're not seeing air fryer, I mean, what you doing, but I guess. But here they are, all finished, they look so Y'all, they were so good. <laughs> they were so good! And I served them with some vegan ranch. I have made this ranch before, like many a time. So you could you could even see it on my Instagram. Like I've made this ranch so many times. Like I'll link a recipe or something. Like I'm not, I wasn't gonna film it again. But they were hidden. They were so, ah! You have to make them. You have to make them and let me know if you do. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss any of my videos. Also, don't forget to the link to the detailed recipe will be in the description box below. While you're here, check out my other videos. I got a whole bunch of them. I got a whole bunch of videos, a whole bunch. Check them out, okay? I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.